Despite the immense popularity in film right now, it is still an extremely expensive hobby to have, which is why I'm actively looking for ways to monetize shooting film. I landed my first paid film gig back in February, and I'm starting to line more jobs like that one up right now. So today I want to talk about how exactly I got to this point so that maybe you too can start to monetize shooting film. Also, how fun is this microphone? It feels like I'm getting back in touch with my musician roots again, and that makes me really happy. First off, my most important piece of advice, show the work that you want to get paid for. If you're not sharing your film photography and building a portfolio of your work, you're never going to be able to justify charging money for it. By the time I got hired for that first film photography job, I had been posting almost exclusively film photography on my Instagram, sharing images every single day, and I had put, at that point, 80 rolls of film through my Mamiya 645 AFD, which is my workhorse film camera. Consistency really matters here. The reason I was trusted by a client to shoot film on set with them is because I proved a hundred times over that I was a competent film photographer. Now, you might say that you don't have a lot of opportunities in your area, or you don't have a lot of subjects to work with in order to shoot film in the first place. And to that, I would say, make the work happen. If there's not a lot happening in the area that you live, or you feel like you're lacking film photography opportunities, start to make the work for yourself. You could reach out to a wedding photographer and offer to second shoot film specifically for free with them, just so you can start to gain a bigger portfolio of wedding photography film images. Or you could find a product around your home and create a spec ad for it. That's what Eric and I did while we were in Portland recently. We've always wanted to work with the brand Hoka, and he had happened to actually just get a brand new pair of Hoka running shoes. So we put together a couple of scenes, we took some photos on medium format film and some 35 millimeter film, and we just had fun with it. We just wanted to create this little like collective of work that we could ultimately have ready in the wings to pitch to Hoka if the time ever came up. You could have a friend be the subject for something like this, or if no one is available to model for you, you could totally just style this as a product-centric shoot, so that way you don't even have to rely on someone else being there. You could do that from the convenience of your home or your apartment, a backyard, a local park, and really just focus in on whatever product it is that you choose. The point is just put together something cohesive that you can have ready to pitch when the time comes. Now, speaking of pitching, explain the value. When you get to the point where you're ready to pitch a client on film photography, it's really important to make sure that they understand what exactly it is that they are gaining from choosing to hire you to shoot film for them. Film has a nostalgic beauty to it that sets it apart from digital cameras. And in some ways, it's actually technically superior to digital cameras, especially in the way that it's able to retain so much more information in the highlights than a digital camera can. And like we already mentioned, film is extremely popular right now, which to a potential client, that could actually be a huge selling point for them, being able to ride that wave a little bit, be a part of the trend in a certain way, and actually want to use film in their marketing materials. But despite how popular film is right now, digital is still the standard. So for that potential client, you could actually make the case that by using film, they can set the imagery and their branding apart from the competition. Obviously, not every client is going to go for this, but the ones that do are really going to believe in what you're doing. And at the end of the day, that is the best feeling to work with clients who are really behind the vision that you have for your work. As I continue to do more client facing film photography, I plan on making more updated videos like this one. So if you have a question about how you can start to get paid to shoot film, please leave a comment below and I'll happily answer it in a future video. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Do the YouTube thing and I'll talk to you soon.